That's the worst sin you can commit, friends. That he laid his life down for you. That he sacrificed himself. He could have stayed up in heaven and let us all go to hell and been just in doing so because we all willfully went astray. We all chose to sin on our own accord. But yet he died for you anyway. And you reject his love and his amazing grace and his mercy. That's the most horrible sin someone can commit, friends. But don't do that, friends. It's, it's the goodness of God that should lead you to repentance. And the fact that God is patient with you. He's long-suffering with you. The fact that He allows you to live to this point. The fact that He hasn't snatched you into eternity and judged you for your deeds. Tells you that He loves you. Tells you He's patient with you. Wanting all to come to repentance. Wanting all to trust in Christ. Wanting all to have eternal life. In fact, Ezekiel 33 says this. I do not desire the death of the wicked. I desire that they turn and live. That's God's desire for every human being. That's why He created them. To be in fellowship with Him for all of eternity. Friends, today, why you still hear His voice crying out through some crazy person like me? Turn from sin today and turn to Christ. And the Bible says that God uses the foolishness of preaching to save those who will believe. And some of you may think this is foolishness. But the Bible says that preaching the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. So if you think what I'm doing is foolish, friends, take that as a warning that you are perishing. Now I'm doing exactly what Christ Jesus did, exactly what John the Baptist did, exactly what Paul the Apostle, Peter the Apostle did. They preached the gospel in the open air. And that's what I'm here to take part in today, friends. So all you hear is voice. Don't harden your hearts. Don't stiffen your necks. Choose, friends, to depart from sin, to depart from iniquity, and turn to Jesus Christ. And He will save you. He will wash away your sins. He will pardon you of your punishment. He will reconcile you to God and empower you to live a holy life. That's his offer to every single person today, friends. If you heard the voice of the gospel today, good news, don't reject it any longer, friends. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed the next second. You're dependent upon God for the very air you breathe right now. You're dependent on God for your heartbeat. You can't make your heart stop. You can't make it stop. But God can stop like this. power of life and death in God's hands and is giving you time now, friends. He's giving you time. He's giving you a chance to repent. So come in today, friends.